So let's talk about foot position. Um, foot position is really important on an uh, electric unicycle. If you want to have uh, a comfortable riding experience, you need to have your feet in the right place. Now, um, for me, I don't know if y'all can see where my foot is. Um, you want the ball of your foot here, the heel of your foot here. I usually line up my arch on the outside with the in motion logo right there and my toes hang a little off. I am wearing a size 13 shoe. So the other thing is you want one foot, your dominant foot, whether it's left or right, to be a little further back and your non-dominant foot a little further forward. Then you're gonna lean on your dominant uh, ball of your foot and your non-dominant heel. This little like half an inch to one inch offset is very helpful for keeping the wheel stable because I have the weight on one heel and one toe, like one ball of my foot. My toes are actually off the front of my pedal right now. What you want is so that when you're standing normally in a neutral position like this, you should be neither accelerating nor braking. You should just be coasting along at your normal speed. If your feet are farther forward than they should be, like this, then it's going to be easier to accelerate, but much trickier to brake. And if your feet are too far back, like a lot of people start with their feet like this. This is way too far back to have your feet. Uh, this, I guess it could be better for braking, but this is a very unstable feeling and it also puts a lot of stress on my feet. Don't have your feet this far back unless you're going down a really steep hill for an extended period of time. If you're going down a really steep hill for a while, you want your feet further back. If you're going up a steep hill, you want your feet further forward. Otherwise, you're gonna have to do it all with muscle and it's gonna be a lot more difficult. Um, so the key to riding is how you distribute that weight. And usually for me, it's front right, back left. For a lot of my friends, it's the opposite. They're, they have their weight on their front left and their back right. But either way, you want to distribute your weight. I like it anyway, to distribute my weight diagonally across the wheel. I find this helps a lot with high speed stability, especially when you go into a high speed stance. On my high speed stance, um, I lift up my dominant heel and put my weight on the calf of that same foot, like so. And then, when I wanna slow down, I lift up that same toe and put the weight on that same heel. So let's see it again. When I accelerate hard, I lift my dominant heel. When I'm slowing down, I lift my dominant toe. 